Hi, I'm JC at Motorcycle Superstore. This is the Pikes Dry Star Jacket from Alpine Stars, a touring style jacket that's going to give you a lot of protection for cold and wet weather. Now, it's a touring style fit, which means it's got a longer profile, but not as long as other touring jackets on the market. I would consider it sort of a mid-level for that style. I like it, it's really comfortable. Also, a pre-curved sleeve as well, which is gonna make it really nice to ride this in the upright touring position. Now, it's a Dry Star jacket, which means it has a Dry Star membrane built into it. That's a waterproof membrane, but it's still breathable as well. Design to keep you protected from the elements and comfortable as the temperature changes also. Now speaking of temperature changes, it has a removable liner on the interior. It's a zip out style quilted liner. It goes all the way down the sleeves. So that's gonna give you a lot more protection when it's extra cold out. If you decide to remove that, you're gonna have a little bit extra room inside. So things like the volume adjusters on the sleeves are really nice features up here on the bicep. You're also gonna have volume adjusters on the bottom of the cuff as well, both a Velcro strap and a zipper. So really easy to get in and out of this. Now the sleeves are some of my favorite components components on this jacket. You have CE rated armor for one, that's located in the shoulders and the elbows, but also this is a 400 denier textile. It's fairly light duty material on the external side of things, but you have reinforcements on the shoulders on the external side, and these aren't totally rigid. They're a little bit flexible, so good comfort from this. Also, leather panels on the bottoms of the elbows and the forearms. That really adds a lot aesthetically for one, but it's an impact area and having the leather there beefs it up. So these are some of my favorite features. I also really like the reflectives. It's this anthracite color, but gives you good visibility with other motorists. Also expansion panels here on the backs of the elbows. So this thing is really impressive in the way it's gonna fit and be nice and protective at the same time. Now, as we sort of move to the back of the jacket, you can see some small inserts that have been stitched in. These are foam pads. Underneath that, there's a foam insert. It's not CE rated on the spine protector, but you can upgrade that if you would like to. Also a feature I like on the back is this panel up top. It's mesh, it's gonna allow you to get a lot of heat escaping in this region where it tends to build up really comfortable. The rolled top on the collar as well adds additional comfort factors there. More visibility from the reflectives down low and this is a padded component down here. So if you have a seat that has a bump in the back perhaps, a lot of touring bikes do, or if you wind up sitting on the tail, that adds a little bit more comfort and protection. The vents on the back are for exhaust control. You're gonna have one on either side. These are using zippers to open or close so you can can adjust how much airflow is coming through this. That matches up with the intake vents that are located here on the chest, more towards the armpit region. Now for storage options, two pockets down low, they're not waterproof. The waterproof component is right here on the chest. So if you're carrying electronics or something valuable, make sure you stack it up in this pocket rather than the ones down low. Also, you'll notice this pullback collar design. It's got this nice little flange here so you can open up just the top piece. That makes it a lot more comfortable on your neck. But the storm flap is gonna reveal a plastic zipper underneath and and under that, you'll find another waterproof pocket that's located on the left chest as well. So you have two components that you can store things in and keep them nice and protected. On, other than that, storage on the inside are a couple of cargo styles, both on the left and right sides. But I wanna make a note on the liner. There's a, the removable system for one, Underneath that, it does not have what is pretty standard to be a mesh liner. It actually has a solid liner in there. It's not a bad thing, but it's something to consider. Make sure you check that out when you're looking at the close-up details. Leave me your comments on this and let me know what you think about the new Pikes jacket. This is going to be a size 2XL that I'm showing you today. I would probably opt for a large to extra large. You can kind of compare my specs to your own. Leave me your comments and let me know what you think about it and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product videos.